Welcome into NFL Daily. Week one is over. It is time for some week two NFL power rankings. As voted on by the chat sports staff, not unanimous, but Arizona is number 32. And the Houston Texans check in at number 31. Both those teams, of course, losing to begin the season in NFL week one. Now, if you want us to do these videos every single week every Tuesday morning up until the playoffs get going and we do playoff picture instead then share the video right now help me show my bosses this is what you guys want whether it's Twitter or X if we're going to call it that I'm still going to call it Twitter Facebook Instagram whatever share the video for me right now at number 30 the Indianapolis Colts they competed a little bit harder against the Jags but they did come up short and there's still plenty of Week one expectation factored into these rankings. They'll change. A lot of changes early on the, as the year uh, continues, by the way. Carolina, number 29. I didn't think they looked that great against the Falcons. Um, I think the Falcons played that well either, but Carolina, pretty clear bottom team right now based on the AP poll style, chat sports rankings. The Chicago Bears, they plummet significantly all the way down to number 28, a very rough showing uh, out of the Chicago Bears this past week. There were plenty of hopes and expectations and belief in this organization, and boy, did it not continue after a rough showing. The Commanders, number 27, you know, they, 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 they won. They also beat the Cardinals. They didn't play that well against the Cardinals, a team that most people, not everyone, but the majority here at Chat Sports at least, think is going to be the worst team in the NFL, so naturally they don't have much success. The Denver Broncos at number 26. Hey, you lose to the Raiders, so yeah, you're definitely going to be behind them in the standings. That one just made sense as far as we're concerned. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers are number 25. They impressed. I, I thought overall the Bucs played pretty well, all things considered. This is one of the uh, maybe the bigger discrepancies in the rankings of where they checked in. They were, they were as high as number 12 this week. Yes, as high as number 12. They were also still as low as number 28, which I, I find uh, quite interesting in terms of the rankings. All right, what team do you think was most impressive in week one? What team surprised you the way they played the most? It is going to be today's pinned comment. So if the ad comes here on YouTube, take advantage of it. Head down there and go vote. The least impressive team might have ended up being the New York football giants. They dropped down to number 24. Uh, entering this, that's a 10 spot drop, by the way. They were number 14 last week. They dropped significantly down the rankings after getting shellacked in week one by the Dallas Cowboys. The Tennessee Titans are number 23. They were 20. They dropped three spots after a not great showing against the Saints, who we'll get into in a little bit. The Steelers, another team that slides down five spots to number 22. There was a, there was a lot of belief in Pittsburgh, but ah, this year's going to be different. Kenny Pickett, Kenny Thicket, Big Ken is going to be better this year. And then, then he, he was not. Uh, he did not. No one played well in that Steelers offense, quite simply. Who do you believe is the best team in the NFL? We're going to get to the top number one team. It is a change, by the way. Not surprising when the previous number one team, the Chiefs, lost. There is a new number one team. We'll get to it here in a little bit, but drop your team for me in the comments section. The Falcons jump up several spots. I'm checking my notes here. They were 23, up two spots. You know, they beat the Panthers. Wasn't that much expectation around them. The Raiders up seven spots. They were 27, but they did take down a Broncos team that was around the same spot. So they basically flip in the power rankings. Jimmy Garoppolo, the EPA darling, somehow continues to have some success. Devontae Adams have a nice year as well. The Vikings uh, were 15 uh, before week one, and then they, they didn't look very good against the Bucs. Now, there was some big discrepancies with the Bucs rankings and the Vikings rankings as well. So it is only week one. Bucks did beat them you know, in the head-to-head, -head, but Minnesota still checks in at 19. Seattle slides down six spots to number 18 as that passing offense, that offense didn't look very good against the Rams team that I didn't think was going to be that good defensively. I still believed in their passing game, which rang true in week one. 
but Seattle drops to 18. Now, today's show is made possible by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. Head over to chatsports.com slash bet. Use promo code NFL daily for 125% deposit bonus. 100 bucks down minimum gets you the deposit bonus. You can bet on various props. I took a can't lose parlay. Every team won except for the Bengals. And that's, but I had plenty of bonus money, so it's okay. Chatsports.com slash bets, promo code NFL daily gets you 125% deposit bonus. They'll do that up to $600. Got to put down $800, though, to get the bonus. The Patriots at number 17. They actually, I thought they should have won that game against Philadelphia. They had two great chances, and they could not finish. So pretty much the exact same spot for New England as last week. Number 16, the Los Angeles Rams up 10 spots. I was uh, kind of surprised. Let me check my notes here. I terms of They were as high as seven. By the way, some of the, uh, the, the, the same person who had the Bucks really high had the Rams super high as well, by the way. Uh, they were as low as 23s, 22s. So big discrepancies there for a surprise week one upset by L.A. The Saints at number 15, as high as number 11 this week. Again, it's the same person who was super high uh, previously. Last week, the Saints uh, checked in at 19, so they're up four spots. Green Bay, yeah, they jump up a bunch of spots all the way to number 14. I and myself had them at 12. They were as high as 8, as low as 18 in the week one or week two power rankings. Again, AP Polestar here from Chat Sports. As a reminder... If you like the rankings, two things. Make sure you are subscribed and give me the credit. If you do not like the rankings, you can yell in the comment section and I will blame the other voters here at Chat Sports and take no responsibility for myself because that's what we do here. We make jokes and talk about football. Hit that sub button right now for more free NFL videos every single day. The Los Angeles Chargers, they came up short. They did drop down. They were in the top 10. They are no longer. They were as low as at 19 and as high as 6, uh, which is interesting. Uh, I, didn't, I, I, I had them at 11, but uh, some, again, big discrepancies there. It's going to happen in week one where there's a lot of chaos going on. The Browns up several spots. They were 16. They're now number 12. I was very impressed with the way the Cleveland Browns played. I thought their defensive effort was awesome. Uh, I had them right around this spot, as high as uh, six this week. Uh, a couple top 10 spots, no lower than 15. Uh, basically 13, and look at the rankings to about 10, was all pretty similar, by the way, in terms of the, the not much separation in the overall voting. At number 11, the New York Jets. I'll start positive. They got that dog in them, man. The Jets could have rolled over and died on Monday Night Football. Instead, they won an absolutely incredible thriller. I think the roster is really good. I think this team is really good. We all pretty much had him in our top 10 here at Chat Sports before week one. But now what do you do? Aaron Rodgers is out for the year. It's kind of the same boat last year. Can Zach Wilson just be average-ish? Average-ish gets them in the playoffs. Without it, they're where they were last year, just on the outside looking in. They could fluctuate a lot the next couple weeks based on how Zach Wilson plays. I, I hope they have success, but there is plenty of concern right now at the quarterback spot. The Bengals, who last week were in the top three, they plummet down to number 10. They were as low as 18 this week, or sorry, as low as 19 this week. Some had them still in the top five, by the way. Uh, I, I had them at number nine myself, just to, you know, full transparency there. The issue we're running into with these week one power rankings is how much do you factor in previous results versus what you saw in week one, or the expectations, I should say. Because the Bengals are 10 and the Bills are nine, and both of those teams view themselves as Super Bowl contenders. But their quarterbacks, to be clear, were unacceptably terrible in week one. Now, uh, we can blame the weather, lack of preseason, calf injury, whatever, for Burrow. He was terrible. Josh Allen took him over four times. All Josh Allen had to do was just be average in that game, not turn the football over. The Jets couldn't do it. Josh Allen gave the Jets that win. They've got to dial in those mistakes. He'll, I'm sure he'll bounce back. I'm sure Burrow will bounce back. But there is plenty 
of mistakes that cannot happen again out of Josh Allen. The Detroit Lions, almost a consensus top 10 team. There's a bit of a, a, bit, a, a, bit of a jump here in the rankings. These two, eight and seven, are kind of grouped together. Then it's kind of six on their own. Then it kind of stabilizes with pretty consensus, not full, but you know, majority rules votes in there. I was impressed by Detroit. That Maybe that's the Super Bowl. I hope it's not. They, they earned that win. Hats off to the Lions to begin the season. Now, what team disappointed you the most in week one? I feel like the Giants is the right answer here. I mean, they couldn't even score. Weather was bad. But what team impressed you the least in week one? Go vote in the comments. Jacksonville up to number seven. Uh, this is the closest thing we've had to, like, agreement. They were as high as number six and as low as number 11. There was a, a, a good majority viewpoint on Jacksonville. A little iffy at times. The fumble was kind of weird. Kept the Colts in the game. I think Trevor Lawrence is going to be awesome this year. The Ravens at number six. Again, this is kind of a, a, a all in the top ten right there. They were number six last week. They beat a bad Texans team. I didn't think Lamar played that well, but they'll be okay. The Dolphins up four spots to number five in an awesome offensive performance. And a defensive effort that still needs some better results. Uh, the Dolphins, looking at their rankings here, a lots of four, a lot of fours, a lot of fives, a three mixed in, as low as ten. Which uh, I don't, I don't really get that one. But I, I was impressed by Miami. The Chiefs were number one last week. They are not this week. They dropped down to four. I can't believe I'm saying these words. As low as seventeen. I don't really get it. If, if it does make you feel better, there is enough AP poll style voting involved here that even if that 17 vote had been four, the Chiefs still would have been four. So there's not enough one outlier vote to overrule everything else where pretty much everyone else had them in the top four. So I'm not going to body them. Is out there in, in, in the rankings, but you, you still could have made them four, could have made them three, and they still would have been number four, by the way. You could have made them two. How you, you could have put them number one, and they still would have been number four. So that outlier vote did not impact it too much, but it was kind of crazy. All right, number three, the Dallas Cowboys. I did not have them at the number one spot. I, as the Cowboys report host and Cowboys fan here, I actually had them three. There was, however, two first-place votes for the Cowboys this week. I would not do that. And what's actually shocking to me by the way, is that the, the NFC has the top three teams this week. Because the AFC teams all lost, right? The Bengals lost. The Chiefs lost. The, the Bills lost. Those were the top three teams last week. They, they all lost this week. Philadelphia is number two on the list. Now, there were some first place votes. They checked in behind the 49ers, I think in large part, because San Francisco was more impressive. San Francisco blew out the Pittsburgh Steelers. They, they took care of business in that game. The Eagles, quite simply, tried to give away that game to, to the, uh, the Patriots. A fourth down fail, a fumbled ball by Jalen Hurts late in the game. They tried to lose that one. They got the win. That's what matters. They're still number two. But in a very close voting between one and two, I think the week one effort overruled the preseason expectations. So grade our NFL power rankings, A, B, C, D, or F. Go vote for me in the comment section right now.